Are you a youth baseball player who just got a brand new glove, but you don't really know how to break it in or take care of it? This video is made just for you. There are countless videos out there explaining how to break in and take care of a baseball glove. And most of them are filled with great information that would benefit any player. But most of them seem like they're made for players who have been around the game for a while and they know what they're doing. In today's Bullpen Bulletin, we're covering my five tips for breaking in and caring for a glove. This video is made for the beginner player who has never cared for a glove before. We're keeping it simple today and making it easy for you to make your new glove perfect for you. Hey team, Coach Hart here with Building Better Baseball, the best place for baseball education. If you're new to the channel and want to learn something new about baseball every week, make sure you hit that red subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Now that you have a new glove, it's time to start looking into other equipment to help your baseball experience become as complete as possible. My free guide for buying new equipment will be perfect for you. It's linked in the description below and covers everything you need to know about what equipment there is in baseball and finding the perfect equipment for you. Make sure you grab it. And if you're a coach watching this and you need some help organizing your practices and making your practices more efficient, I have a free two hour practice plan complete with two practice blueprints linked in the description below that will really help you out. I made it just for you. Now, let's learn about the best things to do to help your baseball glove last a lifetime. My first tip today is the absolute best way to break in a baseball glove is to use it as much as you can. I know this tip sounds like the most obvious tip that anybody could give, but hear me out. I know it sounds obvious, but you'd be surprised at how many young players don't actually do this. As I'm sure you figured out by now, new gloves are so stiff. They're basically a stiff board that's impossible to move. Adults have a hard time squeezing together a brand new glove, which means that young players who still have a lot of growing to do will have a much harder time. Because of the fact that young players can't squeeze the glove together at all, they try all sorts of methods to speed up the process of breaking in the glove. We live in a society that requires instant results, instant gratification, instant everything. So young players will put the glove under their mattress and sleep on it. They'll put it under their pillow and sleep on it. Or they'll sit on it at the dinner table. They'll do all of these things to try and speed up the process when all of these things are just making the glove flat, distorted, and unable to conform to your hand in the exact way that your hand closes inside of it. Breaking in a glove cannot be rushed. I know you want to get into the games and use it right away, but honestly, that's just not going to happen. The best way to break it in is to use it everywhere but games. Play as much catch as you can. Use it in practices. When you have downtime, put it on your hand and throw the ball into it as many times as you can. This is a natural process of breaking in the leather and softening it up for you to use, while also helping the glove conform to your hand and closing the exact way that you like to catch. And what's the added bonus? You get to practice baseball all this time you and your glove are getting to know each other. Putting it under a mattress won't give you this unique imprint of your hand and definitely won't help your game with all the practice you'd miss. Take the time to enjoy breaking in your glove. It's not something that can be rushed. My second tip today is shape it how you want and work it out. This is very much related to tip number one, and it's something you can do when you're not using your glove and breaking it in by practicing. Whenever you have downtime, like you're watching TV or you're sitting on the couch or you're watching your brother and sister's games, you can shape your glove and work it out. This just means bending it in different ways and pounding it with your fist, working it out so it softens up. There are many different ways players like to have their gloves shaped based on what position they play and how they catch the ball. You can shape your glove to match your style of play. Some players who play outfield like to close the glove thumb to pinky because that provides the most coverage when catching the ball. Some players who play infield like to have their fingers and thumbs open so they can field more ground balls that take bad hops and get the ball out quicker after a catch. Some players who pitch like to have their glove curled a little so that no one can see the grips on the pitch they're about to throw. Think about how you want your glove to close and be shaped and use your downtime to work it out and shape it the way you want. This will speed up the process of softening up the leather while creating the shape that you want based on the position that you play. My third tip is to keep it dry. In this tip, I'm specifically talking about rain and very large amounts of water. Simply put, water will ruin your glove. It will still be usable, but water and leather are not a good mix, and the water will severely shorten the life of your glove. If you leave it out in the rain or you drop it in a pool or something, that's just not good for the leather. The most common mistake baseball players make is leaving their glove or their bag with their glove inside out in the rain and having it get soaked. I've made this mistake more than a few times and it's not a good feeling. 
I had two or three gloves I used up until high school and they all got rained on at some point, which made them rip and tear much quicker than they should have. I bought a new glove my freshman year of high school and I made sure I took care of it. And that glove, it lasted me until my last year in college, almost nine years. After every game in practice, take care of your glove and make sure you always bring it inside where it can't get rained on. If you do this, your glove will last you a lifetime. My fourth tip is to store it somewhere warm in the off season. This is something that is commonly overlooked, but it's just as important as tip number three. Just like water and leather don't mix, cold and leather are not a good mix either. One thing many players do, and it's something that I did every year before high school, is store their bag in cold temperatures in the off season. They will either leave it in the garage or the back of the car or the shed, somewhere where the cold weather can reach it. I used to leave my bag in the garage through the entire winter and unless there's some heat going into that garage, that bag and glove is going to be cold for a long period of time. When a glove is cold for that long, the leather will dry up and become brittle. The cold temperature will speed up the aging process, and when springtime comes along and you're ready to bring it out, the glove will be as stiff as a board, and you feel like you're gonna rip it for the first time when you put it on. The best thing to do for your glove is to store it in warm temperatures in the off season. For most players, this is gonna be inside the house somewhere. If you can't store your whole bag, the most important thing would be your glove. Make sure you bring your glove inside during the winter so the leather doesn't dry out from the cold. My fifth tip is use glove oil, a glove mallet, and ball and rubber bands to help speed up the process. This tip is for players who want a little extra help in breaking in their glove and they have access to these items. Tips number one through four will 100% get the job done and they don't involve any additional items. But if you want to use these items, they will really help. The first one is glove oil. Glove oil is fantastic for preserving the leather of the glove. Leather is a porous material and the glove oil will really help add moisture back into the leather and add life to it. Think of it like applying moisturizer or lotion for our skin. It's the same concept. You can find glove oil at any retail store that sells baseball gloves or online. One thing you wanna make sure of is that you use a rag to rub the oil in. You don't wanna apply the oil directly onto the glove. Put the oil on a rag and then rub the rag on the glove. You don't need a lot of oil, just a small amount will do the job perfectly. Make sure the glove dries completely before you use it. Do this about once or twice a month and you're gonna add years to the life of your glove. I would suggest asking your parents or coach to help you if you wanna use glove oil. The second one is a glove mallet. This is a tool that I never used as a player, but I know a lot of players use it and it's very effective. It's basically a hammer for your glove. The idea is you place your glove on a solid surface and then you pound the glove in different areas. It helps loosen and soften the leather and speeds up the breaking in process. It acts as a substitute for catching a ball or using your fist to pound the glove. It really helps shape the inside pocket and will work if you want to speed up the breaking in process. Again, I would suggest asking your parents or coach to help you if you want to use a glove mallet. The third one is a softball and rubber bands. This is the last one I'll touch on and it's something that I used as a young player to help break in my glove and give it shape. With this method, you simply place a softball in the pocket of your glove and you place a couple of strong rubber bands around it to keep it closed. I use a softball because it's bigger than a baseball and it gives the glove a more rounded shape and a bigger pocket. If you use a baseball, the glove will be flatter and won't have the shape that most players are looking for. Keep the rubber bands on there for about a half hour to an hour at a time and your glove will be much easier to squeeze in no time. If you're a player watching this, leave a comment below and let me know what kind of glove you have and what you're excited about doing to take care of it. I'd love to hear what you have planned. To break in and take care of a glove, you can use it as much as you can, you can shape it and work it out, you can keep it dry, you can keep it out of the cold, and you can use extra items like glove oil to help. And don't forget to grab your free equipment guide linked below to help you in your equipment journey. And coaches, don't forget to grab your free practice plan linked below. Thanks for watching today's Bullpen Bulletin. Hopefully this video kept the topic of glove care simple and easy for all you beginner players out there who want to make your glove last as long as possible. Tune in next week for another edition of the Bullpen Bulletin.